Hello and welcome. I am Ravi Nataraju. I'm the CEO and founder of Think Tank. At Think Tank, we do AI ecosystem for smart cities. The problem today with smart cities is urbanization. A city is not smart yet because of urbanization. Population density is too high. And as you can see in the graph, we have cities growing much faster growth with a lot of people coming in and a lot of urbanization is causing a lot of problem for the citizens on a daily basis. Yes, as soon as you think of urbanization and smart cities, the obvious choice is IoT, which is Internet of Things. Internet of Things is good. The problem with Internet of Things is time, cost, and resource expensive. It takes a lot of time to implement an IoT network. It needs a lot of resources to keep it and maintain it. And it needs a lot of money in the first hand to actually implement it. The obvious solution is IoT. IoT is good because it is what everybody thinks of. But IoT also has comes with its own problems, which is it's time expensive, cost expensive, and resource expensive. We cannot afford all these three things to make a city smarter. Hence, at Think Tank, we present a solution called Internet of People, where we use people as sensors. People are there everywhere. They don't need power. All you need to do is ask them nicely. As you can see, people touch at different touch points all around on a daily life in many places around the city. By doing this, we help a city to become smarter by making citizens smarter, businesses smarter, and also the mayor of the city with an informed choice to become smarter. The existing alternatives for the governments and the businesses today is to look at what people are saying on social media or looking at emails and how do they perceive what you ask them. And also the government websites are pretty good as well today where they are giving enough facilities on the municipalities on the services becoming e-government. The next step is to become e-citizens, e-government to smart citizens, smart governments. And that is where the options currently are very limited. Internet of people actually solves this problem very neatly because people are hungry to give, to inform the governments in real time. And governments are also looking to see what people are saying in real time. Same with businesses. Businesses have to grow faster. They have to kill competition. And to do this, they need to get information in real time. Saying this is easy, but doing it is a little bit hard. So how do we do it? Clapio is the solution. With Clapio, we give the basic human emotion of clapping a different tinge. What do you do when you're happy? You clap. And what do you do when you're not happy? You close your hands and do nothing. What we want you to do is not close your hands, but also nap when you don't like something and clap when you like something in real time, any place, anywhere in the city. By doing this, we give you a platform which is anonymous, secure, and works anywhere and everywhere for all the businesses, the governments, and the citizens. That was offline. How about online? It's the same thing. Just create a campaign on Clapio, send the link to your citizens, employees. With the tap of a button, you get the feedback in real time, anywhere, any place. Currently, this solution is provided as a subscription model to the businesses and the governments. This is really cool because it works on any device and it is languageless. You don't need to download an app and it's anonymous. What we have done with this is we have dropped down the barrier so low that nobody can say no for it. When we did do the beta tests and when we started collecting data with Clapio, we found out that the main problem with the city was when people were traveling from point A to point B, and that is commuters, cities often need people to travel at least twice a day from A to B. The developed nations have built a very good infrastructure in place, which makes the pain a little bit smaller. But as you can see in the emerging markets, the pain is even greater. Yes, that's a threat, but we follow this as an opportunity. What did we do this opportunity? We did user interviews around the metro stations. We looked at people where they get stuck, why they get stuck, what are their real needs at the stations, and we address that solution. 
Hence, we came up with Exit. Exit our smart mobility solution and a smart transport solution. With this solution, we let passengers to go from point A to point B in a city happily. As you know, on the roads, the reason why you have traffic is because people are looking for parking, not because they're going from point A or point B. Same thing with MRT or Metro or subway users around the world. People are not just going from point A to point B. At the stations, they are getting stuck because they don't know where to get out because they're handicaps, or they're getting stuck because they're looking for toilets, or they're getting stuck because they're looking for an elevator or an escalator because they have a luggage. This solution even goes much further. With Exit, we not only show you the nearest exits, the nearest toilets, the nearest escalators and elevators, but we also show you for businesses the nearest places of interest. Where would you like to eat? Where would you like to drink? And what would you like to do on your way to your destination? With Exit, we take you places happily. You don't again need to download this app. You can do on any uh, cities that we have a coverage on. And for the train stations, they don't need to do anything else. There is no need to extend the platform. There's no need to add more trains. There's no need to add more staff. With this, we help a city become smarter and we also help tourism and we also help uh, businesses to act smarter in a smart city. We started this in Taiwan, of course, then we went to Thailand, uh, New York, Moscow, Shanghai, Beijing, and so on. With this solution, we aim to solve all the commuters' problem around the world, and this is still a start. Currently, the most pain we see in the commuter index is in Tokyo, which is in Japan. Not just Tokyo, but every other city in Japan as well. Tokyo is getting Olympics in 2020, so our solution is a perfect fit for Japan to solve its problem and make Tokyo 2020 a breeze. For investors, of course, we add a new revenue channel where there was none. We also give a smart retail solution where people can actually look where they're going, what they need on their way. And we also ensure that when you're targeting your advertisement, it goes straight into the user hands and eyes when they're on their way. By this, we make a city, a smart city, a, a tourism, a smart tourism within the city as well. We use native advertising, banner advertising to do our revenue with Exit. Team Think Tank has won a lot of awards by doing this. Why? Because we believe this is our CSR to enable cities to become smarter, citizens to become smarter. We have done this in multiple hackathons. Exit was actually a product of a hackathon. We have done similar things in Japan and Europe as well. What do we need in the next 12 months and where are we here today? We are here today with Clapio and Exit to make a city smarter. Moving forward, we are looking for strategic business partners, investments, uh, subsidies, and government facilities to actually help work with all these people in together. We couldn't have done this with our best team ever because we, our team comes from both sides of Atlantic and Pacific. This is what makes Team Think Tank a strong team which understands every citizen at every corner of this world. Thank you very much.